Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's Gina B. Living Foley. As you know, I do Dollar Tree hauls. If you just found me, know that I go by Gina B. Living Foley, meaning you can still live fully on a budget. And I do Dollar Tree hauls every week, sometimes two. Uh, but really, typically, every Sunday, I put up a brand new Dollar Tree. I live in a small town. I have a very small channel, but it is growing. I'm still trying to reach a 1,000, and I would so appreciate it if you're new and you like Dollar Tree content and you, you're you okay with who I am. I would love to have you join. I would love to have you hit the like, share, subscribe, and even put a comment down below if you're a new subscriber. I love that. And for those of you who have already done all of that and you keep supporting me and commenting, I am incredibly grateful to you. And um, I've just done this very slow and low. I have slowly built. I haven't put out any gimmicks. I don't pair with anybody or what do you call partner? I don't do any of that. I just like to do Dollar Tree hauls because I live on a budget with my sweet husband and I am a massage therapist you know, and, and there's only so much you can make, you know, I, I love my work, but I'm not selling high product items. So, you know, every time I can save, I have like the best joy in the world. So I like to bring you along with those, with those finds. I like to share these with you. If you're on a budget and you know, you have to save, run to Dollar Tree. I'm telling you, they have screaming deals. And I want to get started with, you know, pet stuff. You guys, no, not all of their pet items are healthy. I get that. If you have to go totally vegan, I get it. Um, I do buy my cat vegan food. He gets fed well every day. But for treats, I don't care. I got him pounce. <laughs> these before bedtime make him a happy boy. And these actually have tartar control. They do. So I got him those. These do not have tartar control, but they're nine lives and he's always loved these. So this is a chicken flavor and the pounce is tuna. Okay. No, not the healthiest thing in the world, but these are his little nighttime snacks and I love giving them to him. Okay, more just like regular food items. English muffins. I know, $1.25. I'm very happy. Yes, yes, yes. These are Nature's Grain. This is, I believe, a name brand. My grocery store carries English muffins, and they are quadruple the amount of money that I am paying at the Dollar Tree. I am just stoked about that. Very happy. Another wonderful food item for a snack. Not healthy, but we don't care. Once in a while, we love to have an evening snack with our popcorn on the weekends. It's like a big date for us. We like set it up and put the TV on and pick a movie and that's like a date night. It's a safe way and we save money. Um, this is a mega Rice Krispie treat and it tastes really good with popcorn. And so what we're gonna do is with our popcorn, just kind of cut little pieces, little tiny pieces and then toss them in with the popcorn. I've done it before and it's wonderful. This is a Kellogg's brand giant crispy treat. Great for stuffing into the um, Easter basket, I know. So I got that another food item oh here we go you guys these are getting more expensive at the grocery store yes they are typically about double this size but they are a lot more than a dollar 25 and there's just two of us these are fantastic healthy high in fiber if you look at my last haul or maybe the two hauls down below I wish I could link but I haven't hit enough subscribers to be able to do that I think there is a requirement to do that but if you just check a couple of my hauls below you'll see I got lentils um, they always carry black beans dried black beans 
um, kidney beans, lentils, and sometimes the northern beans. These are phenomenal. And um, I cannot wait to make these. $1.25, that's a meal for a couple of days for my husband and I. And the way I make them, yum, yum. So, yeah, what I do to degas these, if you have gas issues, I know, I'm speaking plainly. <laughs> If you get gas from beans, one of the things that's really important is to make sure you're soaking them long enough. What I love to do is bring them to a small rolling boil after I've sorted through them and rinsed them really well. I fill up the pot with water and I add a half teaspoon of baking soda and a little bit of cider vinegar. Don't worry, it'll froth and bubble a little bit, but with all the water you put in the pot, don't worry, that will calm down. And I bring it to a slow rolling boil and let that boil for about 15 minutes. I cut that really good and um, let them soak in that, in that, you know, baking soda water with, like I said, a cap full of the um, cider vinegar. That degasses your beans really, really well. Um, after they have soaked in that, for a while after they boiled. So boil 15 minutes, cut it, then let them sit in that solution for about six to eight hours. Um, I do it overnight and then the next day they're ready to cook. Uh, a lot of people just soak them overnight, which is like a 12 hour stent. That's fine too, but that method of degassing really works. But oh my gosh, white beans are becoming more expensive where I live. And to find that for a buck 25, was a screaming deal. I got more medicines coming your way. If you are like a prepper or you just like to have backup or have something in your car, they have eye drops. These are family care eye drops. They hadn't had good eye drops in quite a while. These are pretty good. I've used these in the past and I'm definitely gonna pack these in my work bag. These are great. And then I, um, found just a generic value health ibuprofen 40 caplets wonderful i love to keep so we have a kit medicine cabinet at work i just i'm always stocking that the ladies love me for it we're massage therapists and we get tired we get aches and pains my gosh we're always hurting when this heals then this starts to hurt it's hard labor. I love the work, but it's hard labor. So I always keep things, the uh, pain relief PM, I love to keep on hand. If um, I know that I've worked a long day, my back is starting to act up and I just need to go down. This is a PM, it has a little bit of a sleep agent in it and it really does take the edge off of muscle cramping. So I love that. And if I have a client that I know really well, um, and they have like a bad back that day and they're just going to go home and go to bed on ice, I will send them with some of this. So yeah, we always have medicines at work and I like to keep it stocked. Um, another medicine that I found that's topical is the pain relief patches by Coralite. These have capsaicin in, in them. If you're allergic, don't buy that. <laughs> But these at the regular grocery store are through the roof. And I mean, when I say through the roof, I'm talking about four times as much as $1.25. You get two to a pack, so I bought two of them. Yes, I have back issues. That is why I got into massage. I broke my back. I had a hairline fracture um, by hitting a balance beam with my tailbone as a kid. And I was never the same, but I always had back issues. I was a gymnast. I've always, I've, I've gymnast dancer, hurt my back, overflexed my back and always had issues and getting into massage really has helped me take care of myself. I'll never be perfect, but I take pretty good care of it. I know how to trudge through a back outage. I know how to get through it. And a lot of people don't, they'll, they'll go through the back outage and not really and what I mean by caring for yourself, I mean, have the back harness and uh, it's called a back harness. You can get them on Amazon 
and they hold your back in place. I wear super high quality shoes with inserts and I use my products when I need them. There is a place for medicine. You know what I mean? Okay. Health and beauty products. I found yet another really good cleansing product. This is a shampoo and a conditioner. Never had this before. Please put a comment in the comments below. Do you regularly get this product? Because I swear I've seen people haul them. I had it on my wish list in the last year. Never found them. But this is by Bolero Texture and Bounce Papaya Green Tea and Sunflower Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. You get eight fluid ounces. This is cruelty-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner. This is great if you're going to travel. Absolutely fantastic. I think it would look great in a little Easter basket for like a teenager that is mindful about what kind of shampoo and conditioner. This is sulfate-free and, and um, paraben-free shampoo and conditioner. Those of you who follow me already know that I do have alopecia and it's a rare form of alopecia. It's called scarring alopecia and you really have to be careful what kind of products you use. So I figured that's great. It's free of all the, the big things and $1.25, yay. Okay, I think health and beauty is over, but I did find a little bathroom treat. This is adorable. This is by Great Sense and it's a dupe for the pre-poo spray, but it's called Put a Lid on It. Isn't that cute? I've smelt it. It's supposed to be a tropical hibiscus. I definitely smell like pineapple or guava. And I do smell some hibiscus in there. It smells awesome, you guys. Put that in your bathroom. Adorable. And they've been carrying Lysol, um, kind of like a Pine Sol product. This is great to clean the floor, to clean the toilets. And we don't need a lot in our little tiny place, so these little guys for $1.25 are worth their weight in gold. Go to Dollar Tree for cleaning products, you guys. Another cleaning product that I found, oh my gosh, so my grocery store had bleach for $9. I'm not lying. I am not lying. I live in a tourist town, and I just laughed so hard when I saw it. It's not Clorox brand, what I found here, but it's the same amount, and it is lemon-scented bleach. And I only use bleach on occasion. This is something that I will pair with baking soda, and I will um, scrub down the toilet or the um, shower. But that's a lot. This is huge. This is a big, big, big um, 1.89 gallons, so that's huge, and I would rather get it for $1.25 than get it for $9. Not no, but heck no. Um, okay, health and beauty, so yeah, I did. I grabbed one of these for our office. This is the triple ply, or tri triple soft, excuse me, triple soft aloe, three layers, it is triple ply. 54 tissues and is infused with aloe vera. So, yay. And it says <clears throat> 1 billion plus trees planted from buying this product. So it's a conscious product. Love it. <coughs> Excuse me. Scotty's name brand. Beautiful print. It will look excellent in our little um, office at work. Yay. And I scored more of the hummingbird stuff. You guys, I always pick this up in the springtime. These are fantastic. They have no color and my hummingbirds love it. Absolutely love that solution. Another really cool thing that we found, my husband said it was actually better quality than what we found at the Home Depot. The one at the Home Depot broke. This is a trowel and it's fabulous. Look at that. Fantastic. Another thing that I found in the garden section 
was this precious little house. Yes, I am getting closer to doing my fairy garden. Those of you who follow me and have requested for the um, creation and I guess you would call it like a, a, a little series of uh, vlogs about my fairy garden. I'm just going to put up a series of videos of how that fairy garden and it's not just a fairy garden. It's also a gnome garden is going to progress. I found a new house for it. So as you all know, I have been collecting for the fairy garden. I know. I'm so excited. It's coming up. It's coming up. So weather is getting better. We've had a lot of rain, but um, we're not getting the really cold temperatures. We didn't get snow this year, so we've been lucky that way. I love snow, but I'd rather go ski in it than have it all over my front yard and can't get anywhere. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, look at this. This was by the garden section. I don't know why, but it was by the garden section. It was in um, kind of the Easter section for some reason. I would imagine it would be in the candle section, but it, that's where it was. And it's this awesome copper gold. You guys, I just painted another accent wall. Yes. Those of you who have been following me know I did a bedroom accent wall. And if you look through my videos down below, you will find the tour of that. It came out amazing. This time I did an accent wall in my living room. It's ochre and it's freaking awesome. It's absolutely awesome. And I wanted a candle holder that kind of reflected. Now, my wall does not look like this. It's an ochre color, but this color of a candle holder um, is perfect. It will also hold a taper. It will hold a pillar or a taper. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. Beautiful. Somebody picked up tropical fruit snacks. He loves these after a run. My husband loves this. So it's tropical fruit. Um, it's by a company by the name of Island Choice. Tropical Fruit Trail Mix. It's got a blend of banana chips, raisins, dried papaya, dried pineapple, and dried coconut. If you put this in with a bunch of pistachios, almonds, this is a wonderful fuel. Wonderful fuel. This stuff is a lot more expensive at a regular grocery store, I'll have you know. And we got some eternal water. Look how pretty this is. Do you see the mountain in the background? I just love that bottle. I fell in love with that bottle. That's why I bought this. It's called Eternal Naturally Alkaline Spring Water. Gina needs this. Alkaline water is so good for you, you guys. So whenever I see it at the Dollar Tree, I will grab it all day long. This kind of water, alkaline water at my health food store is in excess of $5, not joking. So, buck 25, I'll take it from Dollar Tree all day long. I saved the best for last. Look at this gorgeous basket, gorgeous little Easter basket. This could be used all year round, you guys, all year round. It's beautiful, in a bathroom with rolled up towels, on a kitchen table with fruit in it. This is beautiful, but it is an Easter basket. Dollar twenty-five, gorgeous, gorgeous. That is everything. If you're new to the channel and you liked this content, you had a good time with my little haul today, I would love it if you would hit the like, share, and subscribe button and become part of my micro mini channel. I'm still not up to even a thousand subscribers. I'm okay with that. I figure I'll collect, I'll collect subscribers who really like me. Um, I'm not going to push it. I'm doing it very organically. I don't have a lot of fancy equipment or camera or anything like that. Oh, you can see my tail there. But I, I do like to put up Dollar Tree hauls every week, and sometimes I'll do it twice a week. And um, yeah, every Sunday and sometimes every Wednesday or Thursday if I get time with my work schedule. So I invite you to come join the family. And the rest of you who have already done that, I love you. And I would love it if you would like and comment down below um, and try to keep it nice. <laughs> I know I'm not perfect, but I just, I love all the sweet comments so far. People have been so kind. I've been so lucky 
and I'm so grateful. I wish, I wish you all a beautiful day and I will see you very soon. Hopefully I'll get to do a midweek this week, this coming week and have a lovely Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.